All right, you guys, welcome back to NRL Fantasy Analysis. We're going to jump into our trades for the week. It's going to be a little bit of a lean one on our trades. One trade to make in the people squad, and we'll go through that right now. So this is our setup currently, and the trade we have done is Tex Hoy to Sean O'Sullivan. So with that one there, we've only got the one gun in our halves with Cleary, and then have, sitting there with Schuster, O'Sullivan, and Walker. And I think this is okay to have the four halves. If you're getting to number five, so if you had Cleary... Uh, and Brooks and then went for Schuster, O'Sullivan and Walker. You're probably leaving yourself a little bit thin with cover in the other positions But in terms of our one here, we'll go through that now So obviously got hooker cover there. We have our middle cover in Fui, Lenyu, Utokamanu We also have our edge cover in Fui uh, and then could move Harris or Crichton down, which is fine Plenty of cover in the halves with the two guys center coverage. We do have Avrilo playing this week, which is great uh, and then the, the wing fullback cover is non-existent right now. Apart from if we had to move Tessie into wing fullback, we could then move Avrilo into the center. So that, that is our cover there and, and is enough at this stage. And, and if there happens to be an injury, then we'll we'll address that uh, later on. But um, yeah, the only main issue would be is if Tessie went down, then we, we wouldn't have cover for either center or wing fullback. But there you go, guys. That's the, uh, the people squad currently. And yeah, the makeup of our bench now looks really strong too with Walker, O'Sullivan, Braley, and Little. And our starting team looks great. I feel like the only issue right now would be Tessie in terms of our centers. We'll probably look to move on someone in the team if there happens to be an injury or you know a Spencer or something like that into one of these one of these gun centers fairly soon, I'd say, over the next couple of weeks. And then we'll we'll focus a little bit more on the buy rounds. Obviously round 13 is is when that first one is. So we're getting a little bit closer, about eight to nine weeks away. Uh, but the team's looking really strong, ranked at 1185. Only use one trade, which leaves us with using six for out of the uh, possible eight trades so far, which is not terrible. Um, and hopefully can bank a few, yeah, maybe one a week over the next few weeks and, and try and upgrade to a center. Um, and maybe, you know, someone else in the, in the halves or the or the mids once once these guys Schuster, Walker, O'Sullivan start to peak in the next bunch of weeks, you know, three to five weeks there. Uh, but that's all with the um with the people squad. I hope you enjoyed this and and please if you're um if you aren't sure how to get involved with the people's team, please hit the link down in the description. It's the Discord link, and we we talk about that each week and all the different types of trade options and everyone can vote on what they want for their for their uh, respective team there. So move on to my team and. I've decided to hold steady this week. Terps, Welch, Watson, Crichton, happy with that. Ricky, Fafida, Cleary, Schuster, Opacek and Manu as some strong, as a fairly strong center combo. Uh, and then Pap, Laurie, Sheck in our wing fullbacks. And none of them, you know, deserve to be traded out. You know, Welch coming off a of 52, you wouldn't want to be trading him out after that. Uh, interchange, we got Braley, Foggs, Little and Walker, which is completely fine. Hopefully Foggs is okay. Uh, and if he's not okay, then we can play Alvaro. Instead, I believe at this stage, so I'll pop him up too. Uh, so we'll leave that there. Pop him up one. Selecting your team's forbidden. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's that's where the team's at, at the moment. There's no real need to, to trade any of these guys out yet. Len Yu can keep for a few more weeks. Hopefully he has a, a big week or two. Alvaro is making money. The rest of them are sort of doing well and making cash there. So happy where the team's at, and we're going to leave that. Finally, banking our first two trades, so sitting with 28 there. And then our last one's going to be for the alternates. And this team has actually banked two trades already and looking to not trade again in this one. So, you know, McCulloch, Watson, 12, Crichton. 12 should be fine. Hopefully he goes back to back to his normal minutes. For feeder, Ricky Brooks plays against the Cowboys. I'm pretty excited for that against my team. <laughs> Hopefully he smashes it. Uh, Rapana, Momorowski, really strong centre pairing. Teddy, Pap, Laurie, happy with that. And then on our interchange there, Little, Turpin, Braley, and Walker. Avrilo sitting there as our centre cover. We've got Tessie as our wing fullback cover. Good signs for this squad. We've got cover in all the positions there. With our edge position, what we'd have to do is bring down Crichton to, our, to the edge position if there happened to be an injury. Um, but other than that, we're sort of sitting okay. And yeah, okay, same thing. A few guys like like Linu and, and that could that could be upgraded eventually. But other than that, you know, ranked at 2639, banked a couple a bunch of trades already. Sitting pretty, um, you know, hopefully my teams now can make a charge over the next bunch of weeks and, and do really well. So there you go, guys. If you're enjoying this, please hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.